Hello everybody, I'm Jeff Phillips and welcome to this week's webisode. Every week I bring a new business in to talk about tips and advice within their industry. And today I have John Hinkle, who is the owner of Move It Be Fit Personal Training. And John, welcome to the show. Thanks. Yep. Why don't you explain to everybody a little bit about what you do? Sure. Sure. Again, um, I own a personal training studio in Durham and uh, we service people from all over the triangle. I've been in this industry for 18 years now. I have a master's degree in exercise physiology from West Virginia University, and I've seen people from all different backgrounds, medical issues, orthopedic issues, and dealt with a lot of different types of people. Okay. Now, I know as a trainer, you, you, know, you deal with all kinds of individuals, whether they're there to lose weight or there to maybe just whatever the goal is, maybe become a better athlete, and I'm sure there are many more examples. But I know uh, in this country, there's 155 million uh, adults 20 and older that are overweight or obese sure. and even more s sad in my in my opinion is that 23 million children 2 to 19 are overweight or mm -hmm. obese so hiring a personal trainer obviously is, is a big decision but what should a person look for in a trainer once they decide to take that journey sure uh, my recommendation is that you look for somebody who has at least three years worth of experience in the field uh, three years is a decent amount of time for them to potentially have dealt with a lot of different backgrounds, medical issues, athletic performance, um, orthopedic issues, um, overweight, lots of different things. But I also would recommend looking for a good quality certification. Right now there are over 250 certifying organizations out there. A lot of them are a take-home test that the person can actually do an open book test, pass a certification, and then, hey, they're certified. Why not hire them? So I would look for somebody with a certification from the American Council on Exercise. They've been around a long time. The National Strength and Conditioning Association or the National Academy of Sports Medicine. Those are the top three. Okay. So what's the difference between a... a trainer and uh, basically a gym membership. I mean, won't you be doing the same thing? Um, there may be just a little bit of overlap, but a lot of area where there's not overlap. So my opinion of a gym is it's a place where you go, you pay a small monthly membership fee, and they'll give you an equipment orientation, maybe do a couple of training sessions to build a program for you. And then every time you go, what you end up doing is doing the same workout over and over, not really progressing over time. It's sort of like being on the hamster wheel. You're moving, but you're not getting anywhere. So the real value of a trainer is that we make the tweaks and the progressions over time, provide you accountability to make sure that you get there. A lot of people who have a gym membership pay and don't go, and those are actually the best customers from the gym's perspective. They're paying and not causing wear and tear on the equipment. Uh, we as trainers, we want you to show up because we want to help you get your goals and progress and get where you want to go. Okay, so you can be, uh, can you get a little bit more specific about actually what a trainer does? Oh, sure, sure. So um, what we do as trainers is we first sit down and talk to you about what your goals, wants, and needs are. Um, you know, needs are things that absolutely have to happen. You know, if you're on, uh, if you're a diabetic, you're on blood pressure medication, you need to reduce your insulin intake, reduce those medications, those are actual needs. Um, but most people come in with a lot of wants, you know, um, decrease stress, lose weight, increase uh, muscle tone, increase strength, things like that. So we take all those things into account and design the program for nutrition and for exercise to get you where you want to go. And it's not always just all about what the client wants because sometimes what the client needs is not necessarily what they want. So we combine those thing, two things when we create the program. And then it's our job to um, coach and uh, provide accountability and keep people on track as they go through. Okay. Now, you know, there are all kinds of people in the world, people that are happy, sad, funny, not so funny. How important is um, personality when it comes to uh, matching a client with, say, a trainer? Sure. Uh, it's very important, actually. I mean, if you can imagine going in to the gym or wherever you're working out, to meet somebody who's going to train you. And if they're very stone-faced, not animated, very um, dry personality, and you're exactly the opposite, happy-go-lucky, um, full of energy, it just isn't going to mesh very well. So matching personalities is very important. Okay. All right. Well, very good. I, I appreciate the information. And uh, if any of you out there that are interested in taking that first step, 
uh, to that journey, whatever it may be, I'm sure John would be happy to talk to you and uh, answer any questions you may have. Um, and you can look for his website at the end of this video. If this is the first time that you've been hanging out with us and you would like to see more of these videos, please subscribe to the uh, link at the bottom of this video. And if you have any comments regarding this vid video, please put them in at the bottom and we'd love to continue this conversation online. So that's it for this week. Thanks a lot and we'll see you next time.